Hey, what's up, reefers? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing an update on the 40 gallon reef tank. Right now, we're looking at the tank with the AI Hydra LEDs only. I can show you what it looks like with both the Hydra and the T5, but we'll do that a little bit later on in the video. And let's go ahead and dive into updates I have for the reef since it's been a little bit of a time since I've done an update video. So first off, uh, like kind of how I said, this is the view with my AI Hydra HD. Let me tell you about that incident. So uh, weeks back, whenever we did the Bergia near branch unboxing and I put the Bergias in my dad's 45 gallon tank, I shut off the lights via the power switch, which is what I did with my light, right? So what happened was it didn't turn back on that light. And so we kind of got it handled through uh, Aqua Illuminations. Uh, which is the maker of AI Hydra, and that's what AI stands for. Also known as Ecotech because Ecotech owns AI. So I called them up and said, hey, um, my AI Hydra won't come uh, come back on, It and we've tried to reset it, like what uh, your forms say, like what can we do? Uh, and they're like, okay, no problem. They took some information from me, um, and, uh, and then, uh, the service rep uh, recommended SEP. SEP is a service exchange program. Basically, you send in your old light and they send you a new light. Well, it's vice versa. They send you a new light and then you ship back your old light. Um, and yeah, so you basically get, and I got a brand new light off of the production line. Like they, I, cause it took them a little bit to send it. I was like, hey, what's going on? Like, where's my Hydra? I kinda need that. I mean, I don't need it, need it cause I got T5s, but like I would like it pretty soon. But like, oh, we're sorry about that. You know, it's getting made currently as we speak, um, and it should be uh, shipped out to you in the next few days. I'm like, okay, great. It got here. I want to say a week after I called in about the issue, and it has been amazing. I want to give a big thanks to Aqua Illumination. Y'all are awesome in Ecotech. Their service is impeccable. That's how it should be handled. I want to. I forgot the guy's name to so help me, but thank you so much. Um, so next, uh, along with kind of the equipment updates for the 40 gallon reef, I have added in a doser. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because I don't have the T5s on. I'm gonna turn the T5s on for this bit. Whoops. Whoops. Wrong light. <laughs> um, so there it is. I got a Jabo doser from a local hobbyist. And let me tell you, he has an amazing tank. Oh, uh, well. I have to go visit that tank soon. <laughs> but so anyways, I'm dosing right now uh, alkal uh, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, all via Brightwell Aquatics. Love their stuff. Uh, also, Worldwide Coral uses them. They stand by it. We tried it out, and we stand by it now. And plus, we got like a life supply of, a life supply of Brightwell Magnesium. So it's going great. My tank's actually been really stable. I dose... Um, 10 mils, uh, I dose 10 mil, I dose 10 milliliters of calcium alkalinity a day and 12 of magnesium. That's like what my tank, I, I mean, I, I don't have to dose that much, but it's at levels that I want to have it at because when I introduce more corals, especially SPS, I want there to be kind of a little cushion to where I can be okay. And then when I test it's a little bit low, I can bump it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Also made uh, Voss dosing bottles. Um, I can provide a, a video if you wanna know how to make that. Um, I can make a video because I'm thinking about adding in another one. Well, actually I have an extra one, but uh, I can make always more to show y'all how to make them if you're if you're not really sure how to. But there's tons of videos about that online and stuff on YouTube. But anyways, let's go back to the reef tank and continue on. Let's go back blues too. Okay, so let's talk about fish. I've let me just tell you, there's been a lot of fish in this tank. Well, that were in this tank. I'm talking about like five or six tangs, not all at one time, but in total, and a bunch of chromises and four spontaneous clownfish. All those fish died, basically, and a leopard ass and the cleaner ass, actually. Yeah, those fish died. Um, one, either because of ick, or two, because my carpet nymph ate them. Um, 
I know that for a fact that he ate my powder blue tang because just yesterday he spat him out and all he was was a skeleton and just rotten flesh. It was disgusting. I have a clip of it, but I don't, uh, if, I, if I'm able to show it to you, I'll show it to you. If not, then it was just disgusting. Um, yeah, so basically my dad and I have set a limit of how much fish and how, well, how much I can pay for fish until uh, my tank is able to have tangs, like as in a little bit longer. And what is that? Well, folks, um, I know where my cleaner ship is now because I didn't see them this morning. Let's turn the T5s back on. Can y'all see that? Right there. Stupid freaking carpet in them. This is, I'm not in this out either. Get the tongs and uh, I gotta cut on this hand. Oh, damn it. No. Uh, I'm gonna go throw this guy away. Um, I'll be right back. Oh damn, that's stink. So this leads me to my next point. My carpet nem has legit had over a hundred dollars worth of fish in its mouth already. I'm also kind of getting tired of it. So if you're thinking about having a carpet nem, just know that they will eat anything weak or anything that comes upon it. If it's not a clownfish, it will eat it. They sometimes may eat a clownfish too. I'm probably going to have to get rid of him, in all honesty. Because if he is the reason why I cannot have any nice fish like tangs and stuff, then he's going to have to go. And lucky for me, he's not attached to the rocks. He's attached to the, bo to the glass. So technically, I could get him out. We may have to do that. If you're interested in a green carpet nem, let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on my Instagram. We can work something out if you want them. But yeah. Let's get back with today's video. Sorry for, this is probably gonna be a little bit longer now. Uh, so yeah, so basically not gonna buy fish over $30. And you're wondering why I have two pound fish that are Pretty much over that price limit is because I got them at a really cheap price. I mean, super cheap. I mean, under $30 for each of them. So, let's go on with corals. And I'm going to kind of speed it up a little bit since that kind of took a little bit of our time. Um, I'm going to be going as a mixed reef tank. Uh, this is, I've bounced back and forth. I want to do a softy tank, a LPS, a SPS tank. But now that I feel a little bit comfortable with my dosing um, regiment. I'll be doing a mixed reef, meaning SPS, LPS, softies, everything in between, even a few clams. So, with that being said, I don't know exactly what uh, what type of coral will dominate this tank. It, we're just going to have to see over time. I do have one little SPS, well I say SPS, one little acro in here. I believe it's a, a, a milli. He's doing pretty good. I got him recently and we'll, we'll, just, we'll hope that he does great. And I'll show y'all him right now. And as far as everything else that's kind of in the works right now. Um, here he is. Right there. Uh, we got a Zoa garden going on right now. We're going to let this thing encrust with a bunch of different Zoas. I may add some more as I get some more. Uh, we're going to have an Acan garden as well. I'm going to call it Acanlandia. And we're going to place it over there in that corner of, uh, over there. And in the front right here and right there in that area, we're going to have uh, LPS Meaty Garden. Basically, I need tracheas, uh, Cephilia wilsonies, uh, Acanthophilia donut corals, 
maybe even a bubble coral, an elegance probably, will be going in that area. In the center here will be either a super dope meaty coral or a few clams. Like right now I have an ORA squamosa clam. I'm probably gonna get a Desara and Crocia, maybe a Maxima, but Maximas are really hard to take care of, so I don't know about that yet. Um, here's the eight cans we got in this tank to show y'all some, and here's the Da Vinci Clown, and over and somewhere over, and right here is the Bullet Hole Clown. Now I think I may have misidentified this clown. If he's not a bullet hole clown, let me know in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure he is. He looks a lot like one. So, we're just gonna roll with that. that dang carpet in that, man. I just got that quick cleaner shrimp too, legit yesterday. So, uh, I kinda really mad. And you know, we got some cyano going up in here. Um, and yeah, so, uh, I mean, that's really it as far as coral fish updates. Now with the cyano, real quick before we get on to channel updates. Um, is my dad has a theory as to why I have cyano so badly and for so long. You know how every single tank you probably go up. If you don't know this already, let me teach you something. You will go through an ugly stage, that being diatoms, hair algae, cyano, dinos, bubble algae, something, unwanted algae will grow and you're going to have to deal with it. You're going to try your hardest to get rid of it, but it's probably going to stay there. Some people will get lucky and it only lasts about a week. Other people aren't so lucky and last months, even up to a year or more. So... My luck of the draw was cyano. I've never had cyano as a main big issue. I've always had diatoms. And in all honesty, I'd rather have diatoms right now. Um, but cyano, it chose me. I can't make it go away. I mean, I, I, I kind of do. But uh, cyano grows because you have a lot of nutrients in the water. And with all the fish that have died, it's kind of given a like home for them. So hopefully we can reduce that and we'll be on our way. Um, I think hopefully that theory makes sense. So anyways, uh, that's really it for the livestock, like in the tank updates. Now we're going to do some channel updates. Let's go back to the blue lights. So some channel updates. Here's, uh, here, I'm going to give you a, a short list of what videos are to come. Uh, we're doing our first reef vlog tomorrow. Basically it's going to be a vlog style video. I think I've done it before. I mean, I have, but, uh, an actual reef vlog is going to have its own little series basically i'm going to show y'all a fish store that i haven't sh shown you on the, the videos yet pretty cool it's gonna be pretty short because i don't want to give it away for the store tour um series which is going to be over that store in a much later date probably in a couple of weeks or so uh and we're i am going to be at aquashella officially so uh, make sure you're there and I hope hopefully to see some of y'all there and get to meet y'all uh, that would be amazing uh, Now, I don't know how I'm gonna do aqua shell in terms of videos I can either make it a vlog like a little vlog series like another little mini series or we can just do an uh, Just a mashup of all the highlights from there on that uh, on, on those videos, I will show everything from salt water to fresh water to the snakes, to the duh, spiders, I don't like, I hate spiders. So, yeah, uh, if y'all would rather see a vlog style, let me know for Akusha, or just a mashup, let me know. I probably will end up doing both anyway, but just let, let, me, let me know what you think. Um, and really guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for it being kind of long, but with that interruption right there, of that shrimp, just, ah. Uh, yeah, carpet nems eat pretty much everything that comes in contact with them, so beware. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I think I said that already. Have a great day. Happy reefing reefers. Peace.